Hi there, it's Rachel from scrappinandhappy.blogspot.com with another project that features the straight from the nest cartridge. This is um, video five or six, I believe, um, from this series that features cuts using this cartridge. So this one is a fun one because it's um, being done in conjunction with Sarah from Live, Love and Scraps. In my last video, if you watched that one, you will know that uh, Sarah chose the nest from this cartridge to make a card. Well this time it's my turn to choose a cut so I chose this cute little birthday bird on page 58. So today this bird um, that I'm featuring was cut out at four inches and let's get started. So I'm using this hot pink card and this card I have sized to fit in an envelope like this. So this card measures seven inches by uh, five and a quarter inches. So my first mat that we're going to put down on here measures five inches by six and a half. Now these papers are a whole bunch of scraps that I had left over from working on my bridal shower album. If you're interested in having a look at that, please pop over to my blog because I have all uh, 18 pages um, posted on my blog. And this is just leftover paper from that and so I thought I would use it to make a card just because it all coordinates so well. So we're going to stick that on there like so. Then my next piece of paper, pattern paper, measures four inches by six and a quarter inches. And so we're going to adhere that down to the center as well. Now this paper is just random paper that was in my stash. I remember I did buy this huge pack at Costco a couple years ago, so I'm not sure what's, um, where, who's the company and all that sort of thing. So you can see I've just gone over and I have corner rounded the paper and uh, I'm just going to put that on here like so. Okay, and then for my next piece of paper, this is from DCWV, Die Cuts with a View, and it's from their sweet stack. And uh, I made a whole bunch of cards with this a while ago. So again, this is using my scraps for this card here. So you can see lots of mats, but it's all with scrap paper. So here is the little bird um, cut out at four inches. And um, I'm going to actually pop that pop, pop dot that off the paper uh, just so that it stands out a little bit. And again, uh, I used all my scraps for this, so I'm having a lot of fun <laughs> using up scraps, and it feels good not to cut into a fresh piece of paper to do that. So I'm just going to put that onto the center of the sweet stack paper and I'm sorry my nails are really short. I've been biting them as I'm anxious about going back to work after summer holidays on Tuesday. So I'm going to put that there like that. Now this piece of paper was um, from another card project. If you check out my blog you can check out the card that I made with this. But this was um, using the George cartridge and um, it's, this paper is also from the Die Cuts with a View Sweet Stack. Um, so it's quite pretty with the glitter and everything. So I'm going to actually um, first attach this 
cupcake. This cupcake was cut out from Doodle Charms and what I did was cut it out at two inches and I used a little bit of um, glitter just to make it uh, a little bit prettier. So that's going to be pop dotted up on the brown piece of paper first. And then I'm going to pop dot the brown piece of paper off the card as well. Um, the being that these, a lot of these cards I'm not putting in the mail, I'm not too worried about the bulk, but that is something to think about if you're planning on mailing these cards. Most of my cards I just give, um, send, send locally. So I'm just going to put some pop dots on here. <clears throat> so Sarah, I don't know if you've thought up of a concept yet, but uh, <laughs> I was hoping to have something really fancy, uh, but this is as fancy as I get for this one. And I think it just needs something along there for the ribbon, so I'm just going to go check out my stash and then I'll come back and tie the ribbon. Okay, so I've gone ahead and found this ribbon from my stash. You can see it has the pinks and the oranges in it. So actually it goes quite nicely with this card. Now I'm just going to tie a bow. Actually, no, I'm not going to tie a bow. I'm just going to tie this like this. And then I'm just going to trim it. And I'm just going to pull it up and I still, it looks like it's still possibly a little bit too long. So I'm going to trim it a little bit more. There we go, like that. And um, I think I'm just going to go ahead and add a bit of stickles there. I don't use the name brand stickles. I just use this sparkly glitter glue that comes from the glitter section at um, Michael's, but this one actually does quite a nice job and I'm really loving this color. And if you've watched some of my other videos, you have seen how much I love girly projects and making pink that use pink. So I'm going to put that along the trim here and put some on the little hat here. And there is my card using the little birthday bird and uh, Sarah, I hope you like my card, and I can't wait to see your creation. For the rest, um, for everybody else, thank you so much for joining me for this episode of Let's Get Crafty. And um, if you are interested in other projects, please check out my blog at www.scrappinandhappy.blogspot.com. Take care. Bye.